video. Today we are going to check her chicks. Oh, Is she warm? Yeah, she's pretty warm. Yep, she's good. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Thursday, and Sam is at work today, unfortunately. In fact, he his alarm didn't go off, and he slept in. He's never, ever been late for work in his life. But yeah, Corona did that to him. Uh, anyway, in today's weather, we have snow. Can you guys see it? It was like a blizzard a minute ago. But yeah, that is snow. That's snow out there, you guys. Sometimes I get messages from subscribers and they're like, we had snow! And I know it's coming. Like, don't tell me. Keep the S word to yourself, guys. I don't like to worry about it, but yeah, it is snowing. It's snowing out there. So, but don't despair. We have fun things planned. You're gonna use that for your puppy? Mm -hmm. It's a little harness. Oh, it's a cute one. Uh, if you guys saw Gabby's puppy haul, she has a haul on her channel. What's your channel? Always Gabby. Always Gabby. She's always the same. Sophie's life. Sophie's life, but we can't post on there right now because. Still go subscribe. Still go subscribe because when she's older, she'll come back. I think you guys can still watch all my videos. You can still watch all her videos. Um, but on Gabby's, on Always Gabby, she uh, did a new puppy haul. It was all the things that we bought for the puppy. Um, it, we didn't buy treats, we didn't buy food, and we didn't buy any grooming stuff because we have some. We, uh, like we also, she also has a bunch of stuff that she already has, including um, halters, like little halters like this, which is not very... Harnesses. Harnesses, like little harnesses like this. Like I cannot keep up with all the names of all the stuff, you guys. Horses, dogs, chickens. Okay, so... With halter, mm -hmm. mom calls them harnesses. Mm -hmm. And with harnesses, mom calls them har halters. Yeah, it's true. I do that. Is it okay to make mistakes? Yes! Go out there. Make mistakes. All right, let's go out there and make mistakes. Gabby. Yeah. Get your coat, silly girl. That's amazing. A blizzard in April, but actually we often have blizzards in April. You guys are going to be shocked at this. Look at this. Let me see. You guys are going to be shocked, but we do have names on our buckets. I just don't ever look at the names. We've had them, we put names on the minute that we got these yeah, things. Yeah, why don't you take the rain? <laughs> yeah. Gabby, why don't you take the grain? Is this, Mom, it touched right here, the snow, mm. and it just went ice burn. Oh, ice burn. All right, get the girls. Ice burn. Yesterday, I planned to do work on our garden. Today, I had all these amazing Pinterest kind of ideas and plans. And then I woke up this morning and God had said, ha ha, I foiled your plans. Can you please get the door? Yeah, I'll get the door. Ha. She's like, feed me. Mm. Oh, you are wet, little missy. Oh. I want to open their paddock this morning while we do chores too. If you guys didn't see in yesterday's video, the girls have a little grass patch now and uh, the sugar in grass is the lowest Mom, do you have gloves? I'll trade in the you. morning. I'll trade you that you get to feed the ponies a carrot. Do you have gloves? No. All right, but you have to go open the back gate. Okay. These are already covered in fin hair. Yeah, well, what do you expect? <laughs> Literally all the gloves have fin hair or they're brand new and never used. Huh found more gloves. So Gabby was just explaining to me Uchino's braids, so you don't leave them in. She doesn't ever leave them in for very long. What she's doing is training his mane. So that, my friends, is why she braided it. Not just for aesthetics, not just to make him pretty. 
No, I don't like braising. Yeah, so what she does is she braids it for a couple of days and then she takes them out. And, yay, if it doesn't stay, then she braids braids them again until it learns to stay on the right side. We the have to have- It was already tamed, but like when he was younger. So we yeah. Photo. Yeah. So when um, you show horses, their mane has to be on the right side. So it's just easier if it's already tamed to go over to the right side. And yes, we may not get to show this season, but why not start now? Mom, Train his hair. We'll be ready for show season. braid that's it this is it she know is your mane all on one side awesome hopefully the snow won't wreck that it's time to see if the ponies remember that they have a grass field now yeah the snow is sticking to the ground that sucks come on You gotta go undo it anyways. It's undone. Oh, okay. Snow is not as bad as freezing cold temperatures, so if it has to be here and it'll last probably just for the day, then it has to be here. don't want the ponies to have too much of that grass because it's still like early spring grass and it's not super long there are longer patches definitely I feel like it needs to get a little bit longer before it's safe for them so we're just gonna leave them out there for a few minutes as soon as we bring our horses in we will bring the ponies in and give them hay grass is such a horrible thing definitely it's more natural but I mean the grass that we have is not as natural as wild uh, as the grass that wild horses eat like Oh, domesticating horses is so much nerve-wracking stuff. Like, it's just scary. It's just, like, the horses, I don't know. Like, I put them in that field because the grass hadn't come up at all yet. So, I think they're just mostly getting roots at this point, but it still makes me nervous. I'm just waiting for the grass to grow in both the other fields, and then I'll transfer them over. If there are no grass, if there's no... If we have one dry field out of the three, I'm okay with that because I do need like a safe place that I can put them if we ever end up with a problem. Last year, I know Storm had a bellyache from the grass. Like I know he was getting a bellyache from the grass. So that's why I ended up giving him some stuff. And it makes me nervous. I also, once we get proper fencing up, I also plan in the summer when it's really hot out to leave them in during the day and put them out at night. That's my goal. I don't know if that will happen. I, I worry about that stuff. Like I worry about them being out and free when I'm not awake and can watch them. So, but I mean, that's the ideal situation for the grass. But we will see. We will see what we're gonna do. He's like, take me out. Oh, we gotta put blankets on you guys. Let's do that.
Green Homeschool. This is the book that we're reading for pleasure this final semester of school. We're in the final semester. We have three months left of school and then it's summer. Two and a half months. I'm reading. Kelly needs ladybugs. She needs ladybugs for our chickens. I tried to give Zoe a ladybug but she just fell asleep. Okay, so this is what happens when I do daily reading when we have chickens. The girls, the girls sit here cuddled up with the chickens. Mom, yeah. Gabby has a basket of chickens. Gabby keeps her, Gabby keeps to the whole theme of Easter and keeps her chickens in a basket. Mom. From winter till spring in four hours. From winter till spring, but it's actually cold out. Yeah, seven degrees above zero, but icy. Get excited. a few things for the girls for Easter and one of them came from overseas we actually were gonna order two things like one for each of them from overseas and then uh, one was not in stock so we ended up finding it closer and it came and it's for Gabby but the thing that we bought for Sophie is not gonna come in time for Easter I don't think I'm so sad where is he if she wants him this you you are like the scariest cat you never stay here <laughs> check him uh oh what's that he must be such a good he has mud on his nose oh you have mud oh, on your nose bring him to storm storm will lick it off let's put him in his crate and take him to fiona yes we wouldn't have to worry about him yeah i feel so bad and nerve wreck nervous for him i get so stressed with wild animals like Outdoor cats make me so nervous. Like, you never know when you're going to see the last of them. Right? And I always worry about, like, what kind of condition he's going to be in. I worry about if he's cold. I don't think he's cold. No, he doesn't seem cold. He probably, like, I think he's going in shape. Maybe he has a bed out there. Maybe. Mom, you know what I thought? I thought he sleeps in the chicken coop. Do you think that? Why? Because. Have you ever seen him come out of the chicken coop? No. All right, so we decided we're gonna try and lock him in again. We have- all of his food. I know, I need to go buy him more food. He's trying to jump on the table and eat All right, so to keep him locked in, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's make him a new bed. We need to put a blanket in there again. Oh, it's over here. If you're new to our channel, then you might not know that Hendrix the cat belongs to our trainer. She was in the process of moving, and so she asked us if we would keep him while she moved. So then she moved, and then it was winter, and then she doesn't, she wasn't really set up for him yet, and so we just kept him up until now. So today I messaged her and said, hey, do you want him back? Because he's here. She's all settled in now. Still not quite ready. She doesn't have a space for him because he has to be like an indoor-outdoor cat. Um, so while she does that, she said, why don't you try locking him in? In the past, we have tried locking him in, but he, he will get out. Like, he there's climbed. no way. 
shelves. He climbs the shelves and goes up that way well, and then I'm out. Thinking that has more room than that. What? Putting a roof on that. Yeah, that'd and be good. Great. I'd feel bad for him then, because that's like a... Macy. Macy climbs out of that. Oh yeah, he and just climbed out of it. Wood. That's a. If you put a crate on it. Yeah, that is an X pen, wood. like a little dog area kind of thing. But like I said, he climbs up into the roof from that shelf. Yeah, we've tried locking him in at night. It just doesn't work. He does what he wants. So far, so good. He's still here. I'm going to bring down some more deworming medicine and, and treat him for fleas and ticks and all the bad stuff. Huh? Huh? We'll get you all ready for spring. So Sam found another house that is in our price range. A farm, obviously. It's crazy how when you have horses and you are house hunting, it's just a different experience. Anyway, we... People are buying and selling houses, even though everything is supposed to be shut down. I don't know how it's happening, but we're just gonna do a drive-by because we don't wanna put ourselves and our family at risk for Corona. So we're gonna drive by, see if we like the area, and then we will contact the guy. But I've seen some people have been doing like virtual tours of houses and stuff, so we'll see. acres and it is a corner lot as well just a lot bigger it's a dirt road to ride our horses on so similar to our house I mean the house is a totally different story and there's no barn we have to build a barn and no arena but it's kind of good not to have an arena because then we don't have to worry about the size we can just build our own it's cute though 48 acres, 48 acres. <laughs> Sam likes it. <laughs> 